guys, Dave here with a new riff lesson for you. Today we're going to look at Still of the Night by Whitesnake. And the guitarist was John Sykes. Okay, on with the riff. Uh, the whole thing's based on F sharp minor pentatonic. Uh, the only difference between the way we would normally play it and the way that it's going to be used on the on this riff is that this note here that we'd normally play with our little finger on the uh, sixth string we're going to use the open string instead so it's F sharp minor pentatonic and the pickup starts like this but on the A string we're just going to play two three four like that and that's on the last three sixteenth notes of beat four so I actually start it with an upstroke you can do it any way you like, but that's the way I do it. Kind of helps me to lock in with the timing. Okay. Bar number one, we're going to get this. So the first beat is all on the A string, open, three, and then we're going to pull off onto two and then open. So I pick, pick, pull off. Pull off, like that. Beat two. We're going to pull off from two to open on the A. And then we're going to pick two and open on the E string. Like that. Beat three. We're just going to go back to the A string. Pick two. Then we're going to hammer on three pull off onto two, pull off onto open. Like that. Then beat four, same as what we did on beat two in fact. Pull off from two to open on the A, and then pick two and open on the E. So that whole bar, this is bar one. I should probably also add that he's very lightly palm muting it, so that allows him to do the pull-offs when he needs to, and then when he picks, it just kind of tightens up the sound a little bit, especially because he's got such a heavy sound on the guitar. It kind of really, yeah, keeps the sound nice and tight. Okay, beat number two, or oh, sorry, bar number two. Right. For the first beat, we're just going to pick the second fret on the E, and we're just going to pick down and down up, like so. Then, beat number two, four on the D, two, two on the E, and then the open E, and it's just down, up, down, up. Now what you're going to do now is an E power chord, and it's an open one. So you basically hold the chord like you would a, a regular E major chord. So that's first fret on the um, on the G, second on the D, second on the B. But what we're going to do is we're not actually going to press down on the G string. We're just going to let our finger lightly rest on it and mute it off. And you get that really great big sounding open E chord. That's all of beat three, and then for beat four, it's going to be a B5 power chord. So that's second fret on the A, fourth fret on the D, and G strings. So that bar. Like that. Okay. Now, bar number three is exactly the same as bar number one. I won't need to go through that again. And then the final, well, bar number four. We're going to get that same down, down, up on the second fret of the E. Same thing we had in bar number two. So we're going to go four on the D, 
two, two on the E, and then open, down, up, down, up, like that. And then we're back to the B5 chord. Then an A5, just the open A string, second fret on the D and G strings. And then we just finish up on an F sharp power chord, that second fret on the E, fourth fret on the A and D strings. Like that. So I'll put the whole thing together really slowly. There you have it, the verse riff to Still of the Night. Um, have fun with this one guys and I will see you for one real soon.